You may have noticed that the four sun tracks that used to be docked to the right in the mixer are gone in the newest versions of FL Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you why they're gone and how you can get them back. FL Studio used to have four dedicated sun tracks docked to the right in the mixer. However, this changed in version 12.5. Now they're gone and they're not coming back. If I click here, nothing happens. The reason for this is that any track in FL Studio can serve as a send track. You're not really limited to just four send tracks. You can, in fact, use as many as you'd like. In order to set up a send track, all you have to do is sidechain a track to another track, like this. Right click here and select Sidechain to this track. The track will now act as a send track. It doesn't mean that it's actually sidechained. The act of sidechaining in this case just means linking one track to another. If you want your four dedicated send tracks back the way they were in the previous versions of FL Studio, you have to do the following. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag to select more than one track at the same time. Right click and select dock to write in the menu. Right now, they are just ordinary tracks docked to the right. In order to turn them into send tracks, you have to link the rest of your tracks to them. To do this, hold down the control key again and select all your remaining tracks. Right click here and select sidechain to this track. Repeat this procedure for all the send tracks. Now it's back the way it used to be. You can save this as a new project, and when you open it again, the send tracks will be there. Alternatively, you can add it as a new custom template. In order to do that, simply save it in your template folder. Go to Save As, then browse to your FL Studio installation folder. Go to Data. Projects, and then Templates. Make a new folder and save your project in it. In order for this to take effect, you need to exit FL Studio and then open it again. As you can see, your Send Tracks template will now always be available as a new template from the menu. If I open it and then close FL Studio again, the next time I open FL Studio, it will automatically load this template. Voila! Your Send Tracks are back the way it used to be. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more FL Studio tutorials, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. The video you just watched was made possible thanks to the contributions on Patreon. You can help us make more videos like this by supporting us on Patreon. You can make a pledge of as little as $1 per month. Feel free to go to patreon.com slash firewalkmusic or click on the link in the description below if you want to support this channel. And as always, if there's any specific video you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.